Hello world, welcome to Codebox. In this beginner's tutorial, we will walk through three ways to do post and get in JavaScript without an HTML form. If you want to follow along, the code download is on the Codebox website. Link in the description box below. With that, let us now begin by creating a dummy server script to output all post and get variables. Next, let us move into the first method. This should be straightforward. In a GET request, we simply append the parameters to a query string at the end of the URL. So in this one, we first create a URL search params object. Append all the data to be sent. Then, create the URL string, and redirect the user. That's all. Moving on, we have a method called Ajax. The so-called standard way to make requests to a server. If you have not heard of it, Ajax is short for Asynchronous JavaScript and XML. In layman terms, communicating with the server without reloading the page. For a post request using Ajax, we first create a new form data object. Append all the data to be sent. Then, create a new XML HTTP request object. Set the post method, and target the URL. Define what to do when the server responds. Finally, send the AJAX request, along with the data. That's all for doing post with AJAX. To do get, we simply have to modify the script a little. Change the form data object to URL search params instead. Then, just like the first method, we create a URL with query string. Change to use the get method and switch the URL. Lastly, send without the data variable. And that's it. For this last method, we will use the JavaScript Fetch API, the so-called upgraded version of Ajax. First, as usual, we create a new URL search params object. Append all the data to be sent. Next, we set the target URL, method, and data in the fetch function. Set how to process the server response. Finally, capture any possible errors. That's all for doing post with the fetch function. For doing get, we simply append a query string to the URL. Change the method to get. And that's it. With that we have come to the end of this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you want to learn more. See you in the next one.